I argue in the book that there's a loosely affiliated conglomeration of businesses, law firms, media outlets, um, corporations, and academic institutions that are all sort of working together to push this. And there's a lot of money behind it. One really great source of information for this is called the 11th Hour Blog. And the author of that blog goes into an astonishing degree of detail regarding the money that is fueling this. So it is just not the case, which we have been Hmm. told, that transgender is a coherent category of people who are just fighting for their civil rights. It's just not true. It is a very top heavy, very heavily funded, uh, top down movement to abolish sex throughout society. And people have bought it. I don't know why people have bought it. I'm as mystified as you are. Um, But a lot of people haven't. And I hear from people on social media and on email frequently from the political left saying, how did this happen? I'm not going along with this. And so that's really good. Uh, But again, the media won't platform our voices. And so lefties, Democrats, uh, feminists, gay rights activists all over the country feel very isolated because they think they're alone. They, like you, have friends who say this is fine. We should just go along with this. And people all over the country are thinking, why is this fine? But they think they're alone. And so they're afraid to say something. So how could this possibly be making anybody money? So one example is John Stryker. He is um, he founded something called the Arcus Foundation. He's a very wealthy man. He's a billionaire. And he founded something called the Arcus Foundation, which hands out grants, multimillion dollar grants to fund this. It, it, they, they literally give money to fund this. Yes. And uh, Mr. Stryker is also heir to a medical supply company. So if you sort oh, of connect. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you, no. you connected that dot pretty quickly. Oh, no. OK, so can you connect that dot for anybody listening who hasn't connected that dot? What kind of medical? supply chain? What did, what is he heavily invested in? So the medical supply inter- industry stands to gain a lot of money and earn a lot of profit by conducting cosmetic surgeries on confused children and young people. Uh, we can't omit pharma. Pharma, of course, makes a ton of profit from putting a generation's worth of children and young people on a lifetime's worth of hormones. Oh, that is terrifying, but also completely makes sense. 